Hello all, welcome to Brobe Linear. So this is RP here recording video on 2nd of May 2022. So tomorrow it's a market holiday here in India and we will be discussing Bank Nifty as per the Elliott Wave Theory. So what is happening in the Bank Nifty, what has happened in the Bank Nifty and we'll try to forecast how much it will go up or down and what will happen in the next session as well. So th these details will check as per the Elliott Wave Theory. By the way, Elliott Wave Theory is a popular theory created by Ralph Nelson Elliott in 1930s. Since then it is popular and it's based on crowd psychology. So whatever people do that gets printed on the chart and uh, markets follow certain patterns, certain patterns get repeated over a period of time. So that's what the basis of this theory is. So yeah, a lot to discuss in this. So by the way, uh, this is a daily chart, okay? And I have plotted Elliott Wave here. So uh, it's the best for forecasting uh, the next moves. Uh, it's, it's more uh, useful than any other method for the forecasting. So uh, Elliott Wave has five waves going up and three waves coming down. That is the basic of Elliott Wave. So if you go here uh, and you can see here on my screen, and if I plop, uh, type Elliott wave and come to the images section, you get this basic image of five waves up, three waves down. So this is the basic of Elliott wave. So Elliott wave state three states that there are five waves up and three waves down of the uh, when in the, in the direction of the trend. So this is the major trend uh, which has five waves and there will be three moves down in the direction of opposite of the direction of the trend. So, but yeah. Uh, there is no guarantee, uh, there is no, this is the ba very basic image. Apart from that, uh, there are complicated structures as well as per the Elliott Wave Theory. You can see them here. Each internal move has uh, five waves moves again, okay? So this is one, one will have five wave moves up, then three down, then again three uh, will have five wave moves up, three down, then this is five, it will have five wave moves. And this is again is called as one of higher degree. So this is one again of higher degree. And this will, this correction will called as two. Then there three correction will start. This will not go indefinitely. There are certain uh, rules that like it will start the correction as well. If you remember uh, US oil, it was shedding negative. So nothing is permanent. So it will not go indefinitely up, up, up it will some point come down. So each structure will have, uh, if, if there is a beginning, then there is an end as well. Uh, you, you can remember that and uh, yeah. So this principle follows this particular diagram, you can say. So based on that, uh, let's check Bank Nifty chart. So Bank Nifty, uh, as you can see here, during the COVID fall, it has made a low of 16,116. So this was the massive fall. And after that, Bank Nifty has made a leading diagonal pattern. Uh, which is called as wave one and then again three wave down as wave two then again five waves up as wave three and again five or more moves this is fourth wave is complicated it consolidates lots in this so it will have more than three moves so it will have smaller corrections so fourth completed here and fifth wave completed here so this is how i have plotted the elite waves on bank nifty uh, by the way then after fifth wave, there will be a correction. We'll talk about that in some time. And you can see here, I have plotted Fibonacci as well. So from this point, uh, this point of low, uh, or it is written here, okay? From this point of low, I have plotted a Fibonacci till this point. And we see some numbers here. Bank Nifty has already went till this part, okay? With this uh, correction like this, it has went till that part. So uh, this is the Fibonacci tool, which can be used. Uh, I'll show you here. So uh, Fibonacci tool is, looks like this. Okay, and it is available under this. You can click there and go and plot that. Then you'll get the Fibonacci retracement of 0 0.236, 0 0.382 or 0 0.618 Fibonacci. So uh, moving on to the next chart, uh, we will discuss based on, okay, so <laughs> we will discuss the correction move now. So we will see how much it is going down, okay? So this is the chart that I have plotted. Uh, and I see that uh, Bank Nifty currently is still in correction. It's not yet completed. 
So from this point onwards of 41,000 something, it has started a correction as complicated correction as W, X, Y, X, X, and Z. So final Z wave is pending and I'm still thinking that it will break this. You will think that this won't work, right? Uh, this is a fast move up and it will break a high previous high and go up. It won't happen like that because it has taken a significant amount of time uh, going on the upside. So it will take significant time to consolidate. Uh, you should thank God that it is not a very big correction in the banks. Uh, it's a small correction, maybe even 15 to 20 percent. It has dropped from the top, but it, again, it has recovered as well. So the drop from the top is not much compared to uh, like uh, compared. So compared to the consolidation, the drop is not much. But yeah, we are expecting one more low as per the Elliott wave theory. So when you go and type on the Google, uh, let's say if I type here uh, Elliott wave uh, triple three correction, uh, triple so yeah, this is the correction that is happening. Okay, so yeah, here I'll show you this chart. So this is the way it is happening. So it has, um, uh, it has went till this, okay, and then gave bounce, but it failed to break the previous high. So again, there is a chance that it will make one more uh, bottom. So that's what we are assuming. And this is the pattern that is called as triple three correction. Okay, so that's what it is going to do. So it will not be right unless this is broken. But yeah, this is a good chance that it will go like this and it will break this and make a new low. What is the low that we are expecting now? Okay, next chart shows us here. So here you see here that when you plot Fibonacci extension on these three points, okay, on uh, zero W and X, you get uh, the target for Y wave. So Y wave was almost equal to W wave. Okay, so some points less, but yeah, it was almost equal to W. So Fibonacci extension tool, by the way, is here. Okay, Fibonacci extension, and you can get that tool from here. You point it uh, on swings and then you will get the targets. So this is how it looks. And uh, yeah, similarly, when you plot it, similarly, when you plot it on this X, Y and XX points, you get the targets for Z wave as uh, 31,500. Okay, that is based on 31,500 to 31,400. Okay, so that is 100% retrace, 100% pullback. So yeah, if you calculate the height of this and put it from here to here, it will come to uh, 31,400 to 500 levels. Okay, so that is one way to get the target on the downside. So if it breaks this, uh, then we are not assuming that it will fall big. It will come to this lower end of the channel and then bounce back and break the previous high. So that's what our view is as per the bank nifty's uh, bank nifty's concerned. Uh, another way to get the target <laughs> by classical support and resistance. So this is the support area, okay? Somewhere near 30,000 there are there is a good uh, support and uh, we can expect it to reach to that and then bounce and go up. So this is how it looks. Uh, and this is how you, you get the target. So hope you understand how to get the targets and uh, plot the targets as well. So if you are a LA wave practitioner, this will be a very, uh, you could say this will be a gold for you. Uh, so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also hit the thanks button and uh, you can also help our channel to grow. Uh, yeah, and you can donate. In short, you can donate small amount, uh, whatever you like. So yeah, uh, so moving on to the next, uh, we are going to check what is going to happen for the next session. Okay, so this uh, chart we will check, uh, this move, current move we will check. So here we see that Nifty is falling in the channel in the form of WXYZ correction. So this is again a complex correction. And then after that, it is consolidating in a small range. So it is giving a move called as W again, so it will be, this is a X connecting wave and this will be a Y correction. Then it will drop on the downside once it, uh, once it breaks 35,500. So this is 
uh, for next session. So this, if this chart is true, a uh, fall will be slow because here we are assuming uh, complex correction again, W, X, Y, Z, okay, going on the downside. So if you, what if uh, the fall will be sharp, okay? So in that case, it will be a zigzag correction in the form of A, B, and C. Here, I have plotted impulse wave counts, one, two, three, four, and five. So I completed here. Once it breaks this, we'll drop more downside. So for next session, what we are assuming is, we are going to give a small pullback next one or two sessions. We'll give pullback towards 36,800 to 700 in the form of W, X, Y, and then we'll drop. It is not proven unless it breaks this and we will drop on the downside sharp once we break this. Okay, so we have to wait for a pullback and then it will be a dropping on the downside. That's what our view is for next one or two sessions. So this is how I look at magnity. So in the next session, uh, we can expect it to give a pullback like this. Okay, ABC moves and then it will start the drop while starting the drop, we have to wait. So one confirmation will be break of this. So aggressive traders can take entry here as well. But yeah, that will be quite risky. And you don't know how much it will go further. So it's better to wait for confirmation. That is one way. Or uh, yeah, aggressive traders anyway will go, go short here if they uh, consider some uh, big engulfing candle covering three, four candles like this. Okay. So you have to wait for some signal. Don't go blindly short on index. You wait for uh, certain signals. That will be a better opportunity and a better risk to reward. So with that, we are concluding this video. By the way, we are not SEBI registered analysts and uh, we uh, uh, we do the technical analysis based on Elliott wave theory. It can go wrong as well. Every Elliott wave uh, analyst will plot the waves differently as per his understanding and uh, it can go wrong as well. So you have to take care, do not uh, uh, trade on this analysis in FNO. It could be very dangerous and uh, do consult your financial advisor before taking any financial decisions based on this video. So that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.